Introduction the Urartian civilization, also known as the Kingdom of Urartu or the Kingdom of Van, was an ancient kingdom that thrived in the region encompassing present-day eastern Turkey, northwestern Iran, and northeastern Armenia. Flourishing during the Iron Age, from the 9th to the 6th century BCE, the Urartians left behind an impressive legacy of art, architecture, and military achievements. Despite being relatively lesser known compared to their contemporaries, such as the Assyrians and the Hittites, the Urartians were a formidable force in the ancient Near East. This article delves into the fascinating history, culture, art, architecture, and eventual decline of the Urartian civilization. Historical Background The origins of the Urartians are still shrouded in mystery. They emerged as a distinct culture around the 13th century BCE, likely originating from indigenous tribes in the region. Their heartland centered around Lake Van, a strategic location that allowed them to control important trade routes and natural resources. The Urartians gradually expanded their territory through military conquests and diplomatic alliances, reaching their zenith in the 9th century BCE under the powerful ruler, King Manua. Political and military power The Urartian kingdom was organized as a centralized monarchy with the king as the supreme ruler. The kingdom was divided into administrative provinces, each governed by a local governor. The Urartian kings maintained a strong military force, equipping their armies with advanced weaponry and chariots. Their military might was reflected in their numerous successful campaigns, securing their borders and expanding their influence over neighboring territories. Cities and Architecture Urartian cities were architectural marvels, characterized by monumental fortifications, palaces, temples, and irrigation systems. The capital city of Tushba, modern-day Van, was a majestic urban center, showcasing the grandeur of Urartian architecture. The citadel of Tushba, perched atop a rocky outcrop, boasted massive walls adorned with intricate relief carvings and inscriptions. The palace complex within the citadel exhibited a sophisticated architectural style, with columned halls, courtyards and royal chambers decorated with vibrant murals. Religion and culture The Urartians practiced a polytheistic religion, worshipping a pantheon of deities associated with natural phenomena, celestial bodies, and fertility. The main temple in Tushba was dedicated to the storm god Haldi, the chief deity of the Urartian pantheon. The people of Urartu also engaged in various cultural practices, including metalworking, pottery, and textile production. The Urartians were skilled artisans, producing intricate jewelry, bronze objects, and ornate pottery. Inscriptions and language One of the most significant contributions of the Urartians is their extensive use of cuneiform script. Numerous inscriptions have been discovered on stone monuments, providing valuable insights into the history and administration of the kingdom. The Urartian language, which is distinct from neighboring languages, remains largely untranslated, posing a challenge for researchers in fully understanding the civilization. Decline and Legacy The decline of the Urartian civilization can be attributed to a combination of factors. Frequent conflicts with neighboring powers, such as the Assyrians, weakened the kingdom's military strength. Internal struggles, including succession disputes and rebellions, further destabilized Urartu. By the 6th century BCE, the kingdom faced a series of invasions, ultimately leading to its downfall. The remnants of Urartian culture and knowledge were absorbed by succeeding civilizations, leaving behind an enduring legacy.